When I look back on pictures of myself, I can't believe it's the same guy. My friends used to call me Flabio. I realised if I wanted an awesome body, I had to kill the gene. Kill the Flabio gene. That's why I invented KTG. With hard work, you can turn this into this in just 12 weeks. show thanks mum so we're going to give you more of the same more randomness more super tries just like these from round nine of investing super rugby goes up at the back, but in fact it's way over the top, and Treby goes right through the middle of them. Pass back and field, Super Wango scores! So the backwards pass, watch here, and there it hits straight away. Hit Punt it, sales it? hands. Hits his hand. Gone back off the uh, green player, so right it's up. not a knock-on. You may award the try. Thanks, so Vinnie Munro, TMO, oh. confirms the try. Momentum. Yeah, that's a try. Try there to Fitzgerald. He's got his first one. Question How do you make cash while you're at school? My parents just gave me money for being at school. Sure, I had a few random jobs, but it was never enough to buy everything I wanted. <laughs> when I made my money, I done the milk run, stay fit, delivered the milk to the old grannies. You started in about 20 bucks a day, so it was a pretty good job after after school. Do you guys even know, how to you get your money when you're at school? Mum probably. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely off my mum. Always had to ask her if I wanted anything. So, so. no chores. So yeah, did the chores, did the chores. Nah, did the dishes, mowed the lawns. Had to work for it. Yeah, I think my mum and dad said if I play sport, so I've got stuff on, then don't have to get a job. So I tried to enrol in pretty much everything, so I wouldn't have to get a job and do a few different chores for them. And, and, and mum and dad would pay me my money, so you know that was, that was good. You know, payday on Sunday. Jules busking down Wellington, dancing. <laughs> no, I actually um, <clears throat> worked at a restaurant uh, up on top of Reading Cinema, in Wellington. Didn't last very long. Got McDonald's. fired. Nah. I uh, worked as a kitchen hand and chef. Oh, chef. <laughs> so bad. I didn't do the swimming pool thing much at school. I was normally on the tennis court. It's hard to play tennis in togs, don't you think? It's even harder to play rugby in a pool. Or is it?
played underwater rugby before, it's a bit different to uh, playing on the field, I can tell you that. Those boys are pretty strong and we didn't expect that and they were all over it. Get in behind, Snake! Obviously it would help if you were really quick like they were. Are we balling it? Oh, hang on! Hang on! We're balling it! You'd think you were in space and then there'd be like four of them would just latch onto you. And it was just a lot of underwater mauling. I thought they'd be pretty easy and be able to roll them, but you know, they're like fish underwater. We made a couple of breaks and then uh, they tracked us down pretty quickly. Come on, Jumbo! Come on, Jumbo! <laughs> I was taking on water. Uh, I think I uh, swallowed out four cupfuls of water and uh, I was struggling for my breath. I was, you were getting so into the game and you forgot about breathing and I'd have to surface quickly before I uh, drown. Here you go, Snake! Go, Snake! Scrums, they were quite cool. An underwater scrum. Yeah. 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 Uh, her teammates were probably getting just as frustrated as I was. Go, oh, oh, Tomo, um, you know, I don't know if he contributed a lot, to be fair. <laughs> oh, Zach was definitely the worst out of the lot. No, I think the three of us are pretty much as bad as each other. I've got a good tactic now. We were trying to come up with different tactics, and in the end, we were just trying to cheat. And so Tomo tried to go outside the the field of play along the uh, swimming lanes and Zach just tried to throw them all forward which wasn't allowed. But none of those worked. Well, we walk out of here with our cars between our legs but um, it was a bit of fun. I think I'll take away from this uh, Probably a pretty sore body. <laughs> yeah, we got thrashed. It was 3-0, but I think it was probably a lot more than that. And we were cheating just to keep it to 3-0. The boys cheated? No way, I don't believe it. Boys never cheat, right girls? The Chiefs are made up of so many different provinces and they do have a huge fan base and we are really lucky to be the ones to be able to go out there and, and represent all those fans. The feeling of being a Chief is, is something that's pretty special and there's also a lot of past Chiefs who have played in the jersey and you're not just representing yourself but all of those past players as well. The new jersey design's a bit different to the last couple of years that the kōru patterns up the side and represent the Waikato River. Obviously the Taniwha is something that we'll be able to gain a lot of strength from. The strength in the jersey is the, the mangapōri, the, the hammerhead shark. In Māori term it means uh, strength, tenacity, uh, determination. So always striving to, to be better as a player and uh, as a team as well. I'm proud to be able to wear this jersey and uh, hopefully our fans can feel the same when they put on this jersey for 2014. on randomrugby.co.nz. We're giving away some Adidas rugby boots. See you later.